Today is Saturday. Today is going to be a baking and cooking day. Because I do not have any food for the rest of the week. So uh, I'm going to make some muffins. Some raspberry uh, or strawberry muffins actually. But then some raspberry and blackberry yogurt. I think it's actually supposed to be a shake. But it's kind of like a yogurt or like an ice cream when I freeze it. And so then I just use it as a dessert. But it's like loaded with healthy fats. And that's my uh, like go-to snack. It's delicious. But... I need a meal prep for the week because I don't have anything that is keto prepped. Nope. So we, uh, we're going to have to put in that work this weekend. But I feel good. My hips, I can definitely feel it in my hips from skating today. What about you? No. No? Oh, man. I, tomorrow you might be feeling it, but I definitely feel it in my hips already. But it was good. I'm, uh, I'm happy about today. Today has gone by super fast. It's already 2.30, though. I'm like, where's the day gone? But we're gonna hang out with the kitties now. Buddies. Cool. Dude, every time we come in here, they're like, treat? You guys got treats for me? Every time you come in here, you're like, you got treats for me? That's what I'm gonna be working on today, making treats. Dude, making the muffins. What's up, buddies? You guys are just all about the attentions. And so Carl's all about, the, all about the bunghole. Did you see him? He was like not leaving Mark's booty alone. He's like, ooh, groceries? Mark's booty? Same thing. And I got this so I can actually make meat properly. If we ever make like chicken and stuff, I can make it good and right. Because before I just always guessed. We're doing some keto baking up in here. The uh, These are pumpkin and cream cheese. Muffins, so they're gonna be I'll delicious. Everything. He made some chicken wings. That's which it. He just put them in the oven, and then uh, <laughs> he's been making these. And like we tried the batter and the icing. We haven't tried like a whole muffin, but it was good. Like I made a chocolate cupcake a few weeks ago. Not good. Yeah, what website were you on? I don't know. Google. Well, tell me so I don't go back to it. Not for the chocolate one, but for any of the recipes. I don't know. Casey Ten Tentrum. But oh my. These are good. The be batter good. and the icing were so good. Well, I say icing, but you mix it. Yeah. So it's like cream cheese is in the mix. So. Yeah, it's like K Casey Trenum is like her blog. Everything I've made so far from her blog has been like amazing. And then, like she said, I just heated up some uh, frozen chicken wings and got them in meal prep containers for like what a serving would be. So then we uh, can just basically reach into the fridge and grab something and that way we don't snack. Uh, because that's what I want is like, I like just being able to come over, grab something and be like, this is my meal that I'm gonna eat, right? Uh, and then, what was the other thing I was thinking of in here? Oh yeah, so we picked up some of these today some Zevias because they're like supposed to be better for you than Coke Zero or uh, Sprite Zero because it has aspartame in it. Uh, aspartame is a it's not organic, I guess, like Stevia and Swerve, all that stuff is like much better for you as a artificial sweetener. So this is like a better type of soda for uh, artificial sweeteners because they use Stevia aspartame and then oh there's something else too that they don't recommend that you have but it's like better than aspartame can't remember off the top of my head but it was in like another like major uh like pop companies zero sugar stuff so uh basically the major companies all use like the cheapest thing aspartame so they can get the biggest payoff from it but you have some companies that actually try to make it with the better uh, natural non-sugar sweeteners. So uh, that's what's in here. Swerve uh, is actually what we used in that uh, because we, a lot of places online actually recommend monk fruit, this, uh, but 
we haven't been doing uh, this yet because this is granular and most of the recipes at least for baking have called for powder and I they did not have the powdered monk fruit so we end up using swerve confectioners this stuff right here so so far it has been delicious oh and I did actually make something else earlier too I forgot so I make my little like ice cream cups so like oh, this yeah. this is like one serving it's I want to say like 300 calories but it's loaded with fat it's like 39 grams of fat and like one carb or two carbs and I don't even remember how much protein but it's basically like 100% keto so and it's delicious so that one I made with raspberries and then I have blackberries in there because I actually want to make uh, another batch after this of that and then those are my ice cream cups so like late at night I'm like boom let me get some ice cream I sit there and I just scrape on that what's up huh you talk you fall asleep why for me talking I am so tired but you tested your ketone levels earlier and they were like super high and mine was the highest it's ever been my ketone was uh, like probably about 70 ish Oh, I don't know what that, like. I think it was like, between, yeah. like, like 60 and You were 80. just, you were on the high, like almost yeah. the highest. So, so I was on the dark side, which is good. You want your. I was in the, I was in the middle. Ketone for the first time, there. moving on up. Yeah, so Kyle's moving up and. I had coffee this morning. I mean. Yeah. I didn't show that. I like bulletproof coffee. Kind of, I made like a frappuccino. She said it tasted like. Coconut. And to me, it just tasted like it was not coconutty. It was like coffee. Milk, but then like a tiny. I did not even taste the coconut at all. I did all. not taste the coffee. Oh my gosh! I was like, bro, this is still coffee. It wasn't that good. But yeah, guys, I've been so dizzy and so tired and like can't form my words and sentences and thoughts. Uh, I think I think this is like you going into ketosis. Like, I hope you ladies on my beaver nose. I've been doing my lives. And I'll literally be like, uh, hang with me a second, I'm gonna get this. So it's like, I'm probably acting like I'm drunk, but I'm just so like, yeah. out of it. Yeah, and then when you're on keto and you try to drink, no, that ain't happening. So we actually have I some have stuff. Beer. <laughs> These look so good. So this is our current bridge. So we got all the uh, keto friendly sides down there. Uh, we got some like sauces for like wings or something. Mustard is good. Soy sauce, teriyaki, uh, then some almond milks. That we haven't really used. I think we got it right before. Yeah, we got it right before we started. That's probably bad. Yeah, so we it need is. To dump it out. Yeah. No, it says it's good till September 23rd. Oh. We got plenty of time. Uh, so yeah, we we got all this stuff here. Uh, Can so we this. Drink milk on keto? How we? Uh, I think but most of the time they like have sugary. like they have added That's sugar a though fed one. well there's natural but there's natural sugar in milk so there's natural sugars and you're not supposed to have sugar so uh the way we do our fridge right i don't know how you guys do it we got all the drinks oh this is my medicine uh <laughs> good thing i saw that i told you <laughs> i know you were like you don't like it when it's cold because i usually put it in the side of my uh lunch box so we keep the bottom of the fridge drinks these over here on the right side all this is the non-keto stuff in our fridge right now so we actually need to get rid of this so if you guys are looking for some free stuff hit us up we'll ship it to you i'm just kidding we're not going to do that it was a joke i hope everyone got that uh but this is stuff that like doesn't really go bad or we're not like pressed to eat right now this is anything that is made meal prepped needs to be used in the next week or a few days at least so this is like when we open up the fridge this is our go-to on top we're like what do we got in here and we got our golden knight theme tins for tonight heck, heck yeah because there's a golden knights game yeah. so uh here we have some avocados some spinach which is bad um and we got that spinach a while ago and then cheese so like they're all the cheese in here most of the time this is a cheese drawer i assume for most people yeah. but then like we 
But we get so many things of cheese and this drawer fills up so fast. So I was like, no, no, we're gonna keep other stuff in here. So like shredded cheese has its own drawer for us. But yeah, that's, that's how we keep our fridge. And then the freezer, we got all the ice packs. This is excessive. Well, the ice packs were for lunch boxes. Yeah. That we're not using anymore. Well, I mean, every time we got a new lunch box, we got a new ice pack and then we just like kept having more ice. Why don't you use these ones anymore? I don't, I don't know. I know why. Because when we came here, we didn't bring the lunch box. So I had to get my own. And then you just continued using it. And then I've just kept using the same one. Yeah. So that's why. <laughs> uh, well, and at work, I was gonna say, oh, I put it, uh, I put it in the fridge, but then I was like, I did the same thing with this one. This one has little pouches in the top where the uh, ice packs go. One in the bottom, one in the top. So keep it cold whether it's in the fridge or not. So we got all these. Well, we have these in here, but we haven't been using them or drinking them. You need to like. You need to take these over to Janin or something. Oh, bro, is this? Oh, it's like kind of frozen. But we need to get these out of here. Actually, I need to turn the oven and then on the bread. This is our freezer. We don't, we don't got a whole lot. We got, we got ice cream, some sausages, more ice cream. And actually, you know what? No, no, no. Oh, gosh. So these are keto friendly ice creams, actually. Halo Top and then Rebel. So, so these. Halo Top is low carb but halo top also has a keto version but, but like, you don't like the keto version <laughs> i do but that birthday cake though you know what is crazy our house is a freaking mess it looks awful I hate like it. everything the backdrop behind we're you we're getting ready to move the backdrop behind you is just i can't atro stand it's atrocious it. <laughs> and our kitchen has always been a mess because we have this? so much oh my gosh Can I open this? yeah i was gonna have that um so, actually, let me, we, we like uh, try to keep it semi-organized in here, but, and then we, <laughs> so the ice maker takes up so much space, like the ice tray. So we just do like our own thing, like, well, and I don't trust the water here, so I'm not trying to have the water go through the fridge to go through that. Not it's not filtered. It's not bad? Yes. Not so... We do our own thing with the ice because we just don't care for having all the big tray take up this whole side. So it like ruins the whole point of having a freezer, I feel like. So we uh, we do our own thing. What's this? Oh, whoa, babe. I forgot I have some of these sausage ball puffs. Bro, these are going down in the fridge. I'm gonna really like these. It's like sausage and coconut flour and heavy whipping cream and cheese. I, I don't quote me on all of the ingredients in that, but I am gonna put these down here. Yeah, this is like kind of a mess, but tomorrow we should eat a few of these. Basically, we take stuff out of the freezer or the middle part of the fridge, we make it. It fills up the top part and then for like five days i don't need to make anything because every day we just reach in and grab something out of there and can eat it so I'm trying to make it easier on ourselves i'm also going to make french toast keto french toast right now i'm actually just going to make the bread and then probably i don't know i probably won't slice it i'll probably just put it in the fridge and then tomorrow we'll slice it and then make it with the eggs and everything, and toast it, make French toast, and then eat that in the morning. Uh, and then we have this sugar-free. Uh, it's got sucralose, which is the thing that they say not to have, uh, but it's better than aspartame. So we actually need to get some keto syrup, but this is sugar-free for the time being. So we're gonna end up having some of that so you can do that or you can do confectioners this is powdered sugar like i said earlier so you can do that on top of your french toast so we're gonna see how good keto french toast is tomorrow if you guys can't tell i've actually been kind of excited about life a little bit like cooking all that it's been enjoyable i used to hate cooking i used to just not want to spend my time doing it because i always wanted to edit videos do youtube all that stuff 
we have kind of just been living our own life lately and not focusing entirely on being YouTubers, right? And it's been very, very refreshing, like, to be like, what do we want our hobbies to be? Because I've always had YouTube be my hobby. And now I'm like, what, what other hobby do I want? If I want to not do YouTube full time, right? Like, what should my hobbies be? So that's why we're like hockey. I've been cooking lately. I've been enjoying that. It's just been, uh, it's been enjoyable. And then we're moving into a three bedroom on the first floor. That's going to be nice. So things are going in the right direction. Uh, we talked today actually on the way home, like we wanted to go back to Vegas next year. I don't think that's going to happen. We, yeah, but like, I'm like less and less being like, I want to go now. I'm like, We'll go back I, to Vegas no, and I'm kind of just like, like, we still want to go. Yeah, I'm just kind of like, I kind of want to be here right now because just we are here. Content. Like, I think up until like this last two weeks, I was like, I don't even want to be here. And now I'm like, you know what? I want to be here. But also, like, this is where we're at. I want to be here. A lot has changed as in like, we're moving from this apartment that we made yeah. into a bigger one. That's I mean, same apartment complex, but. Yeah, but things have just kind of shifted for the better. And yeah. I think one of the main reasons we hated it here so much is because with it being quarantine, we've had a terrible time here. Yeah. So. So I'm just trying to appreciate things more, right? I think it was just an adjustment, us moving here the first few months, it was kind of like a shock to our system. Like, we're not in Vegas. Oh, we just missed Vegas. And so it was hard to appreciate. Over time, I've started to appreciate it more here, but then also uh, just trying to figure out our life, right? Like, so I'm a contractor right now. I might be, I talked to him on Friday about, so yesterday about going direct. So working for them and not being a contractor. So I'll make less money, but then we'll have healthcare benefits and dental benefits and I get paid vacation, I get sick leave, I get vacations, all that stuff, right? That I don't really get any, I don't get any of that as a contractor. I just have to work all the time. And if I don't work, I don't get paid versus when you're direct, you make less, but then you get vacation, all those benefits. So we're gonna end up hopefully trying to do that. I also have applied for school recently here to go back to college. So yeah, lots has been going on, but we're kind of just like, you know what, let's just make the most of our time here. Like this is where we're supposed to be because this is where we are. Let's stop trying to be like, I wish I was somewhere, somewhere else because really, if we really wanted to go back to Vegas, we could. Um, so I'm just like, you know what, if we're not gonna do it, like right now, then I don't need to worry about it. So that's kind of like the mentality, even with like buying hockey stuff, I was like, I always told myself I wanna do it, I wanna do it. So this last week, I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna just buy everything. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sign up for classes. Like that way I was, I have to do it, right? It's like, I'm going to do this. Not, I want to do this. It'd be nice, but I'm too busy. It's like, nope, I don't care. I'm scheduling the classes. Now that time is blocked off and I can't do anything else because I'm busy. I already have class scheduled. So uh, kind of the same way with college. I, I've applied to the college here. I'm gonna start doing that. I applied for next semester, not this fall semester. So uh, starting in the spring, it gives me time to kind of figure things out. Uh, Cause it's been a long time since I went to school. But yeah, basically, I've, I know some people have been like, you guys seem like you hate it there, you haven't enjoyed it. Believe me, we know, we kind of were living through that and I feel like I've started to enjoy it more now recently and appreciate being here. So it's I'm just trying to be in a better mood about life. What you think? Good. Like uh, maze balls, like you were expecting? It's like right there. It's oh, like right there. Almost. Yeah. Oh, dang it. I'm gonna go Next hang out time. with my friends for a bit. All right, I'll be up here. Love ya. Love ya. I have yet to try them. Uh, probably gonna try one in a little bit, but I'm gonna start getting all the ingredients out so I can make this bread, and then we can uh, go on from there. So yesterday, I made keto bread. Uh, this is specifically French toast bread, so it has like nutmeg and cinnamon in it. But this is how it turned out. Uh, looks... Uh, all right, I guess. It's kind of short. I wish we had a smaller uh, bread pan so then I could have like taller pieces of toast. So I'll have to figure that out because we just have like the one size right here. So I need to get a skinnier one. Try to make them like more square instead of like long rectangles. But uh, I'm going to start making the 
stuff that we dip it in before you put it on the stove. So we're gonna see how this goes, hopefully good. And then uh, you can use the confectioners. This is powdered sugar. You can use this swerve. So we'll uh, see. And then also the sugar-free syrup. So we're gonna have these on top of it. I am very interested in how this turns out. Cause I'm like, man, keto French toast. I don't, I don't see how it's gonna be good. But then I'm like, now that I made the bread, I'm like, I actually think this could turn out pretty well. We are eating our keto French toast. Overall, I would say it was a success. Could have been better, way better. Uh, they had us put nutmeg in it. Nutmeg, not good. Uh, I think there's too much of it. I probably make it without it. And then I don't think there's enough cinnamon. And then it's weird too, because usually in the like the batter that you put it in, you put cinnamon in the batter. Mm -hmm. This recipe doesn't call for cinnamon in the batter. Well, it was just heavy whipping cream, eggs, and butter. That's and like, it didn't even call for butter. It said put butter like in the normal. pan. That's normal. Like, you like cinnamon in yours. You taught me that. Cinnamon French toast. Yeah, we never did put cinnamon in ours growing up. Oh, dude, cinnamon is where it's at, man. If it you is. add cinnamon to your French toast, oof, it is so good. So uh, I would say overall with the sugar-free syrup and uh, just a tiny bit of the uh, powdered sugar, the Swerve confectioners, I think it ends up pretty good. I'm gonna get a tablespoon right I would uh, fix it different next time, but I think this is a good base start. And there is three other breakfasts. Us can have, one of us can have two more breakfasts with this and then one of us can have three. Oh, I get you. Okay. So there's five more servings left, which is uh, that loaf of bread makes quite a bit. And it's something crazy, like on keto, I used to be able to eat, eat like like four or five full-size French toasts. Yeah. And now I'm like, I already ate one, and I'm like, I know when I eat this second one, I'm going to be full. And I'm like, that has been something nice about keto, is it has made Curve me... Your appetite. Yes, a lot. Like, I used to be able to eat so much food, and now it's just not, uh, I can't. I get so full so fast. When Kyle was recording, I had not eaten yet. I was, like, preparing my, um, we use MyFitnessPal to track our macros and our calories. So I was getting all that stuff ready. And I just ate it. I ate one piece. I think I'm going to stop at one, actually. It was so good. That was delicious. You're going to stop yeah. at one? Yeah. Bruh. Only done eat one. Weak sauce. I had one tablespoon of the sugar-free maple syrup, and it is so good. It's not, I, I actually like not having sugar all the time. I feel like my teeth have been better. I think too. the sugar-free maple syrup tastes just regular to me. What do you think? Like, it, everything doesn't seem as sweet, like as real sugar. I, but like I it also, still like, thought it was sweet. Like, my teeth feel better, too. Like, you, you know when you eat a lot of mm -hmm. sweets, you kind of, like, you can feel it in your teeth? No? Are you I, serious? I know what you mean, but I don't, like, I don't, I don't get that. I don't get that anymore on keto. It's nice. Because I just love sweets. But I still even think the sugar-free maple syrup was sweet and then just used a tiny bit. Like, we had barely any powdered sugar, and we didn't even finish the little container of it. And, yeah. I'm going to get two sausage links though that I have made I'm gonna eat those I just feel like I'm missing that so I'm gonna eat those and then hold off on my one other piece of toast for later but oh my gosh so good Kyle's the best Kyle has been making everything <laughs> huh. I'm just, just glad. Trying, to, trying to eat some foods I'm just glad <laughs> so he's been killing it and it's been great. <laughs>